Oh, 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 bright, uh, bright with potential temple garden, but also a bright idea, which I was mentioning last night, the triome lands, I was entering tapped, helping to fix colors for my sideboard options. As some of you may know, I've splashed for black for a while for extinction event and tear asunder. If we kick it, we get to exile any non-land permanent. That's lovely stuff. And then the white for ley line of sanctity or high noon, various other things. But one land, specifically being a forest type with the triumphs, Indatha Trium, Ketria Trium, if I want the blue and the red and all of that stuff. Very, very nice. And the cycling, of course, with the triumphs, getting rid of it if by chance I have too many lands or too much mana with the gold vein hydra making all those tap treasures when it dies that's an even greater possibility but i just was i was never cycling the triumphs much and they were hurting me more than they were helping if i have to i'll have sunken citadel enter the battlefield i'll choose black because basically every other land in the deck is a source of green there is still two cavern of souls but uh it's going to be some good dinosaur action tonight once i turn the thumbnail off and reorganize myself it's not often that i'm on the left side uh, good good that's probably probably good enough big enough yeah you know what i'll check it i feel like oh whew, i could be quite a bit bigger all right all right there we go okay sideboard wise still uh messed up let's see if i can remember four high noon four ley line of sanctity three terra sunder and four blast zone yes four blast zone blast zone is there to help potentially get the damping sphere or possibly the torpor orb which turns off creatures from triggering enter the battlefield effects that stuff an additional way so maybe i could trim terra sunder if i was using that kind of to exile things blast zone can be activated at instant speed similar to how terra sunder can be cast at instant speed and blast zone you know being a land could help progressing the game plan getting there dropping galta but also sunken citadel always pairs nicely with blast zone either helping to put more charge counters on it or just activating it paying three and sacrificing it and destroying each non-land permanent equal to the charge counters on it the mana value equal to the charge counters it's not hard to get to and that's kind of my thinking if i have a pesky artifact that's hurting me boom there it is i can search for that hate with sylvan scrying or arc druid's charm so it certainly could get me out of a very sticky situation i've had quite a few opponents vampire opponents really they play the damping sphere it is a pretty hard counter to is it phoenix which you know may be the main inspiration for them to bring it in but it also hurts me sadly stops me from making all the the big big mana that i'm aiming to do otherwise everything is basically the same Temple Garden instead of Endatha Trium. Am I going to miss that source of black from Endatha? I don't think too much. I think it's quite a bit better to have the Shockland trim the black wherever it is, whatever it was. And we can still get there. Sunken could be black. Boom. Boom. If we need it in a pinch. Yeah. Okay. I say we jump right into it. A little bit late tonight, but it's still going to be great Voltborn tyrant continues to perform for me i would imagine probably putting in the work for many of you guys as well hmm i love that card you play it it's like it's immune to destroy effects pretty fantastic stuff oh you want to go uh, bitter end or heartless act or something like that oh it's kind of like they waste the removal we get a replacement and we draw a card gain three life and if at any point you can start to stack multiple Vault Barn Tyrants, I mean, that's just going to... The opponent might concede right there because they realize how much of a losing position they're in. But then you just draw into Galta, Stampede Tyrant, hopefully. 
sometimes it doesn't happen. Even if you have four copies of Galta, I still 100% not looking to trim four of that. It's the main best thing, but it's not the only thing because again, the plan B of this deck is kind of like a plan A, just lovely creatures ahead of the curve. What more could you ask for? It was maybe a little bit better hand. I do like seeing Sunken in the Forest. No Gold Vein Hydra to get a little bit closer. Silver, no, no. That got uh, infinitely better. You know what? Send Carnage Tyrant to the bottom. Okay, well, I think that's good. I was thinking of sending Nurturing Bristle back, but we may need the Forest Cycling. I'm pretty certain we will. Whew. Sylvan Scrying is going away, though. It's going to be nice to stop this uh, shenanigans, the thought sees, the duress, any of that stuff. This could be Demir Vampires, maybe? Demir Phoenix. I would assume that's maybe the case with the Opt. Usually that's in... Okay, Grixis. Grixis, huh. Odd, who knows? Well, we'll... Uh, forest cycle the nurturing bristleback and uh see what we get do i like jetmere's garden might as well get my source of red i do have it already with stomping ground but i don't have arc Druid's charm so it could just be jetmere's garden uh, sylvan scrying if we draw it next turn we could still play it and we would be grabbing castle garenbrick jetmere's garden as our land for the turn sylvan scrying for that although i could cycle Jetmere's Garden, which I might do. Uh, you know what? Let's do that. It's pretty cool. I can have the stomping ground enter tapped and still be able to cycle it. Lovely stuff. And now I'm kind of eating my words, saying how I was never cycling in Dath of Trium, and now, well, there we go. We're cycling it. Okay, not too bad. Let's get something good. Arc Druids. Castle Garenbrake, or Sylvan Scrying. Okay, another Sunken Citadel is a pretty fantastic stuff. Yeah, Arc Druid's Charm. That would be actually lovely. Either we see Sylvan Scrying, lovely stuff, and then we can get nothing yet, but we're in range, pretty close of Vaultborn Tyrant, hopefully at some point. I would imagine the opponent has some sort of shenanigans up their sleeve maybe it is just general grixis control haven't seen anything specifically indicating their direction okay just uh, grixis vein ripper nurturing bristleback will slightly increase the chances of seeing castle garenbrake okay okay that's uh, that's something well it's got to be gold vein hydra Big time. Four? Four, if my math is right. Okay, well, we'll just attack. Might as well. I would imagine the Vein Ripper blocks it. They probably wouldn't want to take four. Hopefully they can't gain life, but okay, okay. If we draw Galta Stampede Tarrant next turn, it might just be over. We've got enough to cast her, and maybe the Voldborn Tyrants stick around. Okay, well, we lose one Vaultborn Tyrant. 100% Leyline of Sanctity. That's going to decimate this opponent. We don't have to worry about Thought Seizes ever. The Vein Ripper's ability is nothing because it can't target us. So it is just a big flying creature with Ward, and that's not super scary. No duresses. We are just never interrupted. We get to do our own thing and hopefully smoke them. That's okay. Well, so we got one turn. Call to Stampede Tarrant. Let's get a bunch of life. Oh boy. We got one turn, but we could draw something. I don't even know if it's enough, but I think 
the Vaultborn sees the other Vaultborn plus itself, so we gain a total of 12, but we still would basically die to both Vein Rippers, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot of triggers. Ooh, deadly. Okay, okay, this is pretty good. I would imagine they have some number of removal. They won't in their right mind ever kill a Vault Born. Huh. I think I have enough creatures to block. Vein Ripper, that is only going to be 12. I think. If they kill one Vault Born, it re-enters and it gains... We gain 6 life with the token that's a copy. Boom. Yeah. Hit us for 12... 16, 4, oh, that's going to be close. Okay, okay, it's not the end of the world. There's going to be two triggers from the Vein Ripper. Yeah. They might fatal push their own creature, something like that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot about the... Never mind. Never mind. I was like, oh yeah, I got a block to save myself and... Dang! Ooh. Ooh. Okay, well, Leyline of Sanctity to uh, neuter that. None of your funny business. But that was pretty darn good to get what we needed. Zapandrel, nah. Xenagos, nah. It's kind of like the additional stuff that does good stuff. Leyline of Sanctity absolutely necessary those one of legendary creatures even though they do deadly things it's they're not as necessary as that now yeah. nurturing bristleback trim one i do like the consistency of being able to pay to forest cycle grab the temple garden or jet mirrors garden but we won't be interrupted if of course we have a ley line of sanctity out uh, Maybe I should just start with Leyline of Sanctity. I did that for quite a few days because that was basically all I was facing. Commander Crane, how is it going? Need the painkillers. Yeah, yeah. Vein Ripper is a pain. But you did take him down, I believe. You took down the Rakdos Vampires and then Azorius Control. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> hey, I did a thing and... Um, they did their classic thing. If only I could have given everybody haste, then they would have died. Oh, man. That's why you have four Polanyes Hatcher, four Regis or Alpha, mix in the Serac and Gorkla, other stuff that gives everybody haste because you're going to run into many turns where you want to play everything and attack that turn. If you don't, you die, as we did there. And that's a <laughs> perfect hand. Sadly, there is no Ley Line of Sanctity, but I would never, ever give up a hand that starts with four lands and two of them. One sunken, one scat. Thought sees, I don't care. I don't have Sylvan Scrying or Arc Druid's Charm for them to... Oh, you gotta be. <laughs> yeah, just top deck the second sunken and thumbs up. Oh, shucks. It's not like I already have all the mana I need. Doesn't always happen this way, but yeah, when you see a hand like that, don't don't think about anything else. Just keep it. Don't ask questions. And then sometimes it gets even better. Well, hopefully it's not two thought seizes. Okay, okay. Kind of jinx myself a wee bit. At the very least, Carnage turn next turn. I kind of want to cycle Jet Mirrors. Really, I should have had Jet Mirrors enter that turn. It always enters tapped. Oh, the Vein Ripper. That's, uh, that's not so good. Well, let's see what we get. Gold Vein. That actually could be quite problematic. That's going to... I kind of like myself a Gold Vein. Do I want to take two from a shock land? You know what? Let's make it a little bit bigger. Just a touch. Six. Total of seven. Lovely stuff. 
Take out Soren. Yeah. No, no life gain for you. Slow him down a little bit. It is unfortunate. I need two sources of white for the potential, eventual, you know what, ley line of sanctity. It's, it's not the end of the world. I got a bunch of treasures, top deck Galta, and hopefully get the job done. Doesn't exactly get the job done, but hey, Carnage Tarrant, and with uh, all the treasures, easily able to play Pliny's Hatcher, which I shouldn't have done. Yeah. That's why, at the very least, you just play Line of Sanctity. You saw exactly how good it would have been. We would have won. 100%. But it was just so good. Turned out all right. Maybe if it is so good, don't keep it. No. No, I would still. I'm still going to keep it. Yeah. Yeah. Just got unlucky with those two back to back thought seizes. Ooh. Nuts. Okay. Maybe it's time for Pithing Needle. Turn off Soren, so at least we slow down the Vein Ripper plan. I've tried that before in the past, and Pithing Needle, of course, turning off the activated abilities of lands, manlands, artifacts, all of that. Ooh. Ooh. Deadly. Lovely to help against Field of Ruin or Demolition Field, which destroy my Castle Garenbig or my Sunken Citadel. That's no fun. Not at all. But it was nice to see the Hydra there. That got big. Massive. We'll see if this is something else black. I'm thinking. I'm getting the sense it might be time to start off with Ley Line of Sanctity. Pretty easy to just board it out, bring in those one of legendary creatures to give some additional haste and all that stuff. Of course, Ley Line of Sanctity could be basically useless, but I would like to give myself a much better chance against those painful matchups. Oh, oh, what? what is it? It's a all black knight. Hunter, how's it going? Hopefully all is well. <laughs> Mono black waste not, I think. Yeah, we'll turn Sylvan Scrying into a Castle Garenbrig, 100%. That's what we're doing. Bonehorn Dracosaur, okay. Yeah, Bonehorn Dracosaur has been a little bit hard. The double red from Bonehorn Dracosaur just doesn't exactly line up. Sometimes I get myself a little bit caught out with Archdruid's Charm, I got to admit. But yeah, for the most part, it, it's pretty good. But yeah, Bone Horde Dracosaur with the two red. I was held off of Bone Horde for all too often. Way too often. I just didn't like it. It could be pretty good against the Vein Ripper. Sometimes the Vein Ripper does get to, sadly, more than five toughness. Soren putting the 1 1 counter onto the Vein Ripper, getting it to six toughness out of range of the Bone Horde is. A little bit painful. But I think we could get the job done. Yeah. Jetmere's Garden. Let's do it. Alright. We saved that Castle Garenbrink. We gotta see what they do as long as they can't kill us. I think there's a pretty good chance we might survive with just a, a touch. But yeah, I would love to would love to use the Bone Horde Dracosaur. 100%. That's not too bad. Not too bad. We should be okay. We still have enough lands with Castle Garenbrig to play Galta Stampede Town. Okay, we don't. Demolition Field and Field of Ruin tend to do the trick. Not much more you can do.
We'll still get Galta Stampede turned. I like that. I think we'll get there. Hopefully. Cross your fingers, they don't have uh, you know what. Oh boy. Well, they just got uh, really fortunate. Well, we'll play, uh, play Carnage Tarrant and hope for the best. Yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. We could possibly play Galta next turn, but you know, as long as Carnage Tarrant... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, well, I know what I'm gonna be doing. Leyland of Sanctity once uh, again. Coming in hot. Maybe this time I'll mulligan aggressively for it sadly we're getting pretty flooded there with such a low land count it just happens every once in a while yeah. we'll get them we'll get them Line of Sanctity, let's go. Nope. Okay. Well, I mean, technically, we got it. And a Castle Garenbrig, which is nice to see. We'll just, um, we'll just keep it. None of your funny business. No Invoke to spare. None of that. Of course, it is a little bit risky, but if we didn't have Leyline of Sanctity, we would uh, basically be dead. Second land, let's do it. Okay, okay, that's something, that's something. Archdruid's Charm, let's go. Maybe I'm drawing a Sunken Citadel, that'd be pretty sweet. The Demolition Field, once a... Oh, Sylvan's crying, I'm liking the looks of this. Yes, indeed. I'm quite certain the uh, demolition field is going to be activated. Yeah, I'd be surprised if it didn't. Uh, do your thing. That's okay. We'll make it work. Still have a decent amount of forests. At least two left after that. They still can't thought seize, so should be in a, a pretty healthy position. All right, sunken, gotta be sunken. Could have been a source of red, but I just wanted to play it safe. I still couldn't have gone Planey's Hatcher next turn if I had chosen sunken as red. Nah, at least I get to play Carnage Tyrant. Hopefully Vaultborn Tyrant. Vaultborn would be ideal. Vaultborn is ideal. We want to supercharge. We want to get get to Galta as fast as possible. Hopefully, well, Vaultborn will get us a little bit closer, whether we draw land or not. Another Vaultborn. Thumbs up. Vaultborn is immune to all regular removal and has to be exile. If it's not exile removal, they're probably not going to kill it. Okay, that's fine. Make a copy. Bring it back. It does get fatal pushed, but we gain more life. Draw a card. That's okay. Oh, there's the fatal push. Hashtag pre-recorded. Oh, I guess it's... Huh. Maybe it is a mana value of seven. Odd. I thought it had a mana value of zero. What's going on here? Okay, 
Okay, good. Good. Hmm. I'll take it. Just play another one. Or just kill him next turn with everybody. Let's go. Okay, not quite. Not quite. Now again, it has to be Voltborn 100%. Let's get a little bit more life. Padding. Sort of uh, security blanket. Nurturing Bristleback could have been that, but... Uh, I wanted something nice. Big. They ran through a bunch of their removals, so... Maybe we'll be okay. If they can't take it out, they're not going to be attacking with Shieldred. That's... Okay, there's the exile effect, sadly. Tends to do the trick. Almost there. Take eight, go down to three. Draw one card. Oh boy. Now or never. That uh, will not do it. Close, close, but no cigar. Goodness, goodness. Well, we'll try the next match. We'll see if it is something, again, heavily in black. Something involving the Vein Ripper or mono black like that is. Yeah, again, the pithing needle. I, I could say I jinx myself, but that is pretty common. At least it has been common for me, facing Demolition Field, Field of Ruin, that deck. No Azorius Control, so hopefully this is that, my favorite deck. It's just, it's been days, maybe, maybe even a week since I faced it. Come on. Let's do it. A lovely hand right there. P pretty much perfect. A little heavy on the lands, but I'll take it. Okay, Boros, maybe. Boros Convoke, something like that. Mono White something, ah, odd. Well, we'll go Sylvan Scrying at the very least. We know this opponent doesn't have any counter spells at the moment. Very, very good. I would imagine they don't have too much uh, land destruction. Uh, Mutavolt. Maybe it is Mono White. Humans. Huh. At the very least, I can make seven, six. I can make six next turn. That doesn't do anything, unfortunately, but... Oh, you got it. Are you serious? An opponent, again, uses Demolition Field. Okay, well... I'll search for the forest, and um, at least we have Castle Garenbrig. That's that's good. I guess it's Mono White, Yorion, Bounce, something like that. Sylvan Scrying. Oh my goodness, that is going to save us. Smoke him, kill him. Just don't have another one. We just got to play Voltborn Tyrant, and we'll be. Feeling pretty good. I would imagine they have some... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Well, good. They took out the right one because I have a castle. But seriously, you gotta be... You gotta be kidding me. Not, uh, who cares? You're dead. That's what you get for doing your funny business. Maybe we play Galtus Stampede Tarrant next turn and we smoke him. Crush him. Get out of here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they have exile effects, so... We may not be getting the trigger from the Voltborn, making a copy of itself. Ossification tends to do the trick. That's okay. It's not like they're a super aggressive deck. I might just play Carnage Tart next turn just to have such a lovely body coming up going to be good. Yeah, they're doing a whole lot of nothing. 
Actually, I feel like smacking them with Tyrannix Rex. Not super aggressive. To have to jump through quite a bit of a hoop. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, mouse over all that stuff. You know, you're scared. What's it going to be? I could top deck another Tyrannix Rex and kill him next turn, getting him to more than 10 poison counters. Okay. I'll take your turn off to also exile that. Painful. Some sort of wacky mono white control. Too many lands, too many lands. But that's just uh, how she goes sometimes. We'll just keep dropping bodies and hope for the best. Chip away. Another Pelennius Hatcher might just do the trick next turn. But I would imagine they have some number of sweepers probably mixed in. Hmm. That's a lot of lands, my goodness. Okay, just keep being a bugger. We'll get you eventually. Gold Vein Hydra, now that. That is lovely stuff. How big can we make it? Six, seven, eight, eleven, ten, ten. Tends to do the trick. I guess we could have made it eleven. Eh, see what they do with that. Ouch. Who's gonna block who? Somebody, okay, yeah. Fine by me. Good, good, man, that is lovely. The Gold Vein Hydra, fantastic top deck, late, early. Play it for X's two or three, you get a decent amount of counters while it's X out, so we don't get the treasures, but that's fine. We have all the mana we need at this point. It'll be okay. One day we'll get Galta. Stampede Tarrant or Arctrude's Charm. Gotta be coming up eventually. Sometime. Yeah. I still got plenty of mana. We don't have a forest to replace it, unfortunately, but we still have enough. Yeah, it's like Every deck is using those things. Okay, Sylvan Scrying is uh, certainly something. Something we don't need to be playing. Yeah, we'll yeah, go with Carnage Tarrant. Might as well. You know what, I want to pay the two and go with Sylvan Scrying pull something else out of the library that I don't need. I like Cavern of Souls. We got two Castle Garenbriggs. Should be in a good position. If they have another you-know-what. If they play that Field of Ruin or something like that. Well, it could be rough. Okay. Well, we'll take out the Sunken Citadel. We can still make plenty of mana. We've got the Cavern of Souls in our hand. Make it work. Oh, why am I playing Temple Garden? And just as an untapped land, lovely, lovely stuff. Instead of in Dath of Triumph, always entering tapped, and there's Elish Norn painfully. Huh. Okay. It tends to do the trick. But yeah, Temple Garden because it's a land that can enter untapped, and I'm. I'm not done for. Actually, we'll wait and see what they do when I attack with Carnage Tarrant. Yeah. I just wanted something that gives me the source of white and could enter untapped. Get rid of her. Take out them. Do a bit of damage. Hopefully that helps us. And playing Pelanius Hatcher, I like it. That, that, that's what it's all about. 
Okay, we'll see. Hopefully, we're establishing a little bit of a foothold. Okay, that's pretty good. Mono white control with lay down arms. Certainly is pretty painful. One white, exile a creature with mana value less than or equal to the number of planes you control. That can exile quite a bit, unfortunately. Gonna get some fantastic value from Yorion there. Just have to deal just a little bit more. Regis Ralph is not gonna be the thing. Man, no Galtus Stampede Tyrant. Technically, the Arcturid's Charm could have gotten that. Well, we'll, we'll play Regisaur. We'll see what happens. I would imagine they're able to get the job done. That's seven in the air, which I can't do anything about, sadly. Yes, high, high noon in the sideboard as well. I think it's pretty fantastic. One in the white to make the opponent go slower, because I sometimes go slower. A pretty hard counter for is it Phoenix or any combo deck that tries to cast multiple spells in a turn while well, now they don't. Seems pretty straightforward and pretty fantastic for me. It helps me in some situations where I do feel pain. Not that the Phoenix matchup is too painful. Usually it feels pretty good. No more lands. Oh, oh, oh. Gold Vein is pretty, pretty fantastic. Well, it's now or never. We would die next turn. We got to pay two life. And let me see. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we can make it nine. Pretty sure we can make it nine. Yeah. All right. I don't think that's going to be enough, but uh, yeah. There you go. I haven't. Uh, done much with Smuggler Surprise. I have to go back and think about it. Uh, I should look at Smuggler Surprise. I don't know. I don't know. It'd be hard. Paying six to put creatures out with a sorcery, but if I can make six for a sorcery, Huh, that's a tough one. Yeah. I'll think about that. Yeah. Yeah, six for a sorcery. Ah, sometimes you just lose. But, I don't know. Could be really good, or could be really not good. If I can pay six to put potentially creatures in my hand on to the battlefield i would probably want to or i would probably be able to pay eight for a creature straight up because i would use the mana from castle garenbrig hopefully but this opponent well, nothing in particular that would hate against him really the theme of the night is pithing needle or those lands demolition field field of ruin if we could stop that, we'd get him. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I'd like the looks of that. There's a fair bit of exile for Gold Vein, but two Temple Gardens, you know, it's, it's pretty good. Sylvan Scrying as well. Hopefully, oh, they got the Field of Ruin to start, huh? Well, we'll, uh, we'll go with Sylvan Scrying, 100%. Grab that Castle Garenbrig, play Gold Vein Hydra for two, and hope they destroy it. Interesting stuff. Start chipping away a little bit. Of course, I'm pretty certain it's going to be exiled. Maybe we get fortunate. Oh, oh yeah. I guess when you only have uh, no planes, that's what you get. Stick it to them. I don't feel bad for that opponent. Not at all. But the question becomes, they got a lot of cheap stuff. Fairly cheap stuff. Mana value, three or less. Would I like Blast Zone? Possibly instead of Gold Vein Hydra. It is potentially quite massive, but 
again with their exile effects sink a bit of mana into it make it a 2-2 if I'm not getting the treasures I don't exactly like that either huh I kind of think High Noon might be nice. They play something, they bounce something, they might want to replay it. Yeah. You know what, I'll leave it like that. I got a good feeling about Gold Vein Hydra. Uh-huh. Well, I don't have a good feeling about that hand with no lands. Okay, yep, perfect, 100% get them actually gonna send the gold vein to the bottom crazy enough but now with the second castle garen big i feel quite safe we don't have any forest which also feels quite lovely sylvan scrying will grab the second sunken next turn and we'll play it so we have okay it won't it won't well if i had a suspected Spellbinder, if I had seen Spellbinder and knew that was a possibility, I would have... Okay, well, they goofed up a little bit there. 100% they should have chosen Sylvan Scrying. So maybe they have something up their sleeve that's going to stop what I'm trying to do. Odd. Odd that they would choose that. Huh. I'll take it. Okay, good stuff. Temple Garden, I almost played the other Castle Garenbrig, and I wouldn't have been able to play the Vaultborn Tyrant. Draw more cards, draw Galta. Oh, that's not Galta. So maybe we can double Vaultborn. Just, I hope that it lasts at least one turn before it gets exiled. Don't do it. Okay, well, that's Arc Druid's Charm, maybe to exile Ossification. That wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I'd be okay with that. Yeah. Carnage turn. Big time. You can't do a whole lot about that guy. Now we're only taking three... Well, a fair bit from Mutavolt, but... That could be painful. Elish Norn does pose a problem. And Demolition Field. A little bit. Okay, don't need uh, any more lands. That's for sure. Yeah, they just kill us with Mutavolt's next turn, so it doesn't uh, doesn't really matter at that point. So, I don't know. Mono white control got the job done, and we didn't see what we were hoping to see before they got Elish Norn or get some removal for Elish Norn. That was pretty good. Finally making use of Archdruid's Charm to not get a land. For the most part, Archdruid's pretty much always grabs that land, play it on turn three to grab another Sunken Citadel to put it out, or grab the Castle Garenbrig to prepare for turn four, and then demolish them, smoke them. Oh, yeah, big time. Maybe I'll finally get my matchup where it's an opponent who's going to go Thoughtseize. Huh? Maybe they won't have Demolition Field and uh, Field of Ruin. You, you never know. It could be a possibility. I would imagine. Our, yeah, okay. Well, at least this opponent is smarter. Oh, two. Two of them. It's a trap! This is a load of barnacles. Huh. Not much more you can do. I guess that uh, my suspicions have been confirmed. Leyline of Sanctity. I'm starting with that. And I'm bringing hate for other stuff. But at the very least... Oh, no. I almost played it for two. I can play it for three. Phew. That was a close one. Kill it. I hope. 
Good, 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 good. Yeah, Jetmere's Garden, Scorpion, lovely. I gotta say, since I'm basically not in black, but I am in white for High Noon and Leyline of Sanctity, it, the one Jetmere's Garden feels pretty good. Uh, nurturing Bristleback at the very least, possibly grabbing that, and hopefully they kill Goldvein Hydra. That'd be ideal. Okay, they exile it. That's also pretty good. Uh, very silly of the opponent. They should have exiled it first. Then it would have dealt two damage to me, so... Wow. You bought it in foil. Very, very good. Well, hey, at the very least, you see how the gold vein can be not so great. But, at the very least, I get to play Pliny's Hatcher. Hopefully that 3-3 three, three dinosaur isn't killed immediately by Fatal Push. But I sense... That's going to happen. Oh, yeah, they're, they're waiting for me to crack the specific one and then they kill it. Oh, I've never seen that before in my life. Yeah. It's like I'm playing against myself. I swear I'm not doing that. I wouldn't be this hard on myself. Could I have a stomp? Well, I think we'll try and take it out. Hope they don't have a stomp. Okay, maybe we're safe. Looks like it. Oh, and the Sylvan scrying to grab the Sunken to play Voltborn next turn. You're dead. You're dead. You don't have Demolition Field or Field of Ruin. What are you, uh, are you, are you new? Apparently that's what all the kids have. Test the waters. I want to keep Pelani's Hatcher alive. Just in case they have... Oh yeah, things they can do. I forgot to factor in Reckner Bankbuster, but... At least I smelled something with Pelani's Hatcher. That darn mainland, the one restless fence. I don't often see it, so it caught me a little bit off guard. What, are you going to discard all three of my Vaultborn Tyrants? You're not, so now you die. Oh, shucks. We'll do, take the three. Oh, yeah, we'll take the three. Actually, I kind of want to get rid of the Reckoner Bank Buster. Yeah. No Bank Buster for you. We don't exactly need Planes Hatcher. I wasn't planning to attack with Vaultborn Tyrant coming up anyways, so... Just play it. Leave it behind as a fantastic blocker. And certainly, it is that. They're basically dead. If they don't have an exile effect for the Vault Barn, they're smoked. Trainix Rex. We're playing Vault Barn next turn, 100%. Stacking both of them. Ooh. Oh, what are you going to do? Cry. As I keep gaining tons and tons of life, maybe I get you know who. Go to Stampede Tarrant. I'm going to barf a bunch of my creatures. That's going to be pretty sweet. Okay, just 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 keep keep doing it. Keep doing it. Oh, they're gonna give up pretty soon. Oh, there it is. There it is, folks. They cannot block it. If they block it, they're look. I gain six. I draw two, and I took out Croxa. Is this not the best thing ever? Yeah, it is nice. Nice of you to die. I don't know. I've pressed it before. Maybe I should do something else. Call an ambulance! Call an ambulance! But not for me! I'll wait and see if they have a thought seize. Oh, that's stupid of them. They could have taken out the token, which wouldn't have made another copy. I am inevitable. 
course, eventually, I am inevitable. It is inevitable I'm going to win. I mean, everybody gets streaks. What could... I'm not done yet, but what could I have done different in the previous matchups? It is a little bit painful to basically face heavily black decks again and again and again, other than that white one, but uh, yeah, the, both good. I like the Thanos one. I don't use it as often. The Joe Rogan, 100%, that's, that's my favorite clip, but do I... Yeah, I can, well... I mean, that's the hard part. You see it cases like this where the opponent goes thought sees, thought sees, and you still get the job done. So it's good to evaluate how did it work this time in the face of double thought sees. We made it work. Why didn't it work those previous times? Sometimes I am a little bit greedy in game one because I don't know what I'm facing. It just has unfortunately been lots of black stuff, but... I mean, clearly, the all-star again is Vaultborn Tyrant. And that's happened off-stream when I've been playing a bunch of matches today. Vaultborn does the trick. Vaultborn, Vaultborn, Vaultborn. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty darn good. Okay. But still, I'm thinking... Yeah. Surik and Gorkla, Trimit, Zapandril, Xenagos... And that one nurturing bristleback. Get the ley line of sanctity. We didn't see... I believe I didn't see any of the four cards that I trimmed. So bringing in ley line, it's kind of like... I don't really lose anything. The ones I trimmed didn't help me win in the previous game. Something like that. But that's not a hand I want to keep. I want to try... Try for an absolutely perfect hand like that. Yes, please. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Good game. I won't throw out the good game yet because it could be... Well, it could go downhill, but you never know. Get the sunken, the next sunken. And then when they both untap on turn three, we go Sylvan Scrying. But I think this is going to be our best chance. Yeah. If you don't have a castle and you have two sunkins, you just get them out of the way, turn one, turn two. If you have two sunkins and sylvan, you want to see the... Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, wow, that just... That did change everything quite a bit. I'm going to play the gold vein hydra for one. I'm going to see what they do. I'm going to hold it back to block possibly the goblin or reckoner bank buster, or they kill it. And I get a treasure, and I get a head. And if I get a treasure to this turn and draw Galta Stampede turn next turn, I will be able to make eight on turn four. It all has to align, but fatal push, good. All right. Now, will we draw it? I'm just happy I can play Regis or Alpha on turn four, which isn't always the case. I can activate Castle Garenbrake's ability, but. I can't get that one source of red. I get that with jet mirrors quite nicely. Galta, Galta, Galta. Oh, that, well, well that's, that's the Vaultborn Tyrant. Oh, yeah. Turn four, Vaultborn, gain the life, draw a card. Yes. Hopefully they don't have the end. Exile effects are never fun. Okay. We're not done yet. Done-ish. Another Vaultborn would be good. They got Bitter End. They got something. Oh, they're scared. At least I took out a Goblin. I gained at least three more life next turn. Galta, let's do it. Or Arcturid's Charm. Okay. What would be the best thing? Multiple blockers. Nurturing Bristleback. We don't need to ever forest cycle Nurturing Bristleback. That's that's a given. I don't want to use the treasure. Yeah, yeah. Nurturing. Two bodies similar to Regis or Alpha. I still want to play it kind of safe. They've got Reflection and Blood Tithe Harvesters. Not a pretty sight. 
stuff is going to die next turn. Unfortunately. Do what I can. Attack with the Vaultborn because that's going to get minus six, minus six. We have one chance right now to attack with it. It's dead. The first time, well, Reflection is going to copy Blood Tithe and then that copy is going to sacrifice itself and then give minus six, minus six. Let's get it over with. We know what's about to happen. Call to Stampede Turn. Let's go. But I guess it does die. I'm thinking of the Gold Vein Hydra. Never mind. Never mind. That's that's good. That's good. Well, both die, but... Yeah, the Gold Vein Hydra, if it had six counters and it got minus six, minus six, we wouldn't have made what we made. I can almost play both Regis or Alphas. That... I can play both Regis or Alphas. Okay. I'll take it. 100%. That's what we're doing. Draw more cards, gain more life. Oh, where is Galta? Gotta be coming up. Okay. One of these days here. Are they dead? Six, ten. Oh! Snuck in there. Oh, I ha I felt that was warranted. That was so slick, fantastic. That called for Joe Rogan. Man. Oh, I don't see why they wouldn't have sacrificed another Blood Tithe Harvester to take out this. It doesn't make a copy. If it's not a token, you create a token. That is the token. So they could have sacrificed another blood tithe. Given that minus six, I would have I wouldn't have gained six life and drawn two cards. Maybe they figured it wouldn't have mattered because I had so many other fantastic creatures. But what is the all-star? What continues to be the all-star for me? A hundred percent. Without question, it's Vaultborn Tyrant. Trainix Rex, 100% I'm keeping that in and Carnage Turn, but is there some way I can support this? What is the absolute best mixture to support getting Vaultborn Tyrant without, you know, deviating too far? We'll see, we'll see. But I still love Gold Vein Hydra. Big time, big time. But yeah, whenever that lands, it's like out of control. Maybe I should add in a Great Henge. Get some more life, more card draw. Hmm. Garouk's Uprising. I have seen that suggested, and Vaultborn Tyrant is pretty similar to Garouk's Uprising. That, that would be an option. An additional thing to cast on turn three as I'm building up for a more explosive turn four. Hopefully that does involve Vaultborn Tyrant. It would have to be Sunken Citadel, Sunken Citadel, Forest, and Castle Garenbrig, something like that. You have to be pretty lucky to make seven on turn four, but it's not unheard of. So, Grook's Uprising on turn three, kind of filling things in and making everything even more explosive and deadly, perhaps. Maybe. But, I think I'll leave it there for tonight started later than I wanted to I hope one day I know I'm gonna be doing this for two hours uh, I used to do it for two hours we'll get back to that three four that's the goal that's the plan I'll just continue doing whatever I can whenever I can yes see a scorpion FK Ty Tyreel Hunter and Commander Crane and anybody else watching right now later on whenever it is hopefully if you choose to go this route with dinosaurs you devastate just like that land the vault born tyrant and land some wins peace have a good one